received some requests to explain a little bit more about how the engine works. So, in this example I have the bellows here, produces an alternating air pressure as you go up and down with them. Goes to this box here, um, on the closing sides here and here, uh, through a series of reed valves, basically paper flaps. It um, produces a continuous flow of pressure and vacuum, respectively, out of the uh, air rectifier. I then have a few different versions of my splitters that send the vacuums and the uh, pressure to the opposing sides of the engine. Um, basically each side operates independently of the other. One piston is the valve for the other piston. You could actually hook them up a few different ways. One of the design flaws is that the diameter of the hose is the same size all the way through the design. For instance, here we have two hoses of equal diameter feeding into this, fed from this splitter, going out with the same diameter, going to this splitter, and likewise going. Each time the diameter of the hose should have been bigger to uh, provide less loss to the uh, whole process. So you see, you apply the alternating pressure, the air rectifier then makes a continuous flow that feeds the engine. Each piston is the valve for the next piston, and away she goes. There's been a request that I show it using some other power sources other than the uh, bellows. Um, so I'll see what I can put together here. Okay, so since I don't have an air compressor, I'm going to use a shop vat. Since the shop vats are really using a continuous flow of air, We're going to disconnect that and just directly drive a unit with the shop back. It'll just be using vacuum, um, so I'll only be feeding half the system where it will work on the vacuum and the pressure at the same time, but uh, you know, that's what I have available to me. So you can see we have positive or negative, could be either, it just switches the direction of the engine. slightly closer view of it running off the shop back with uh, the opposing side hooked up. take a look at one of the um, piston valve assemblies. The piston is the valve in this engine design. It's fairly simple. Um, like I said in my previous video, I hadn't, I was unable to locate any other design similar to this, but I wouldn't be surprised if one already exists. I just haven't found one. Okay, I will remove one of the valves to our pistons, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. So you can get a better view of just what's going on here. Tubes. Uh, 
of this. I tried to make it so everything was serviceable. Um, just because you know, my designs typically are something I just make up in my head. And might have to make a few modifications as I go. Alright, so here we have the piston housing and piston. Um, the piston itself, one side has a hole drilled in it that's bigger on one side, smaller on the other. The housing basically has, this is where you'd have your vacuum and your pressure, or vice versa, whichever way you want the engine to go. As this slides back and forth, it feeds the respective positive or negative airflow to the next piston and it goes in to either push it out or suck it in. All the tubes, the piston, they're all readily available supplies at any hobby store. Well, I hope this cleared up any questions anyone had about the engine. Feel free to post more if you like. I will attempt to answer them as best I can. Thank you.